YouTube, 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 it's your boy Diesel D back again in our happy place, the gym. So today, team, uh, we are pitting our chest and back day. We have two a week, uh, and this is the second variation of that, which is a little bit lighter uh, than the first. Um, so this one is going to be primarily single arm movements for back, um, but the same kind of similar chest uh, pressing an incline variation and also a flat bench uh, variation for chest. And then we also have a little bit of touch up on the arms to finish everything off, tie it all together team. So this is a really good pump that we're getting on this one. And um, yeah, so reporting in weight, uh, yesterday I was at like 104, uh, burned a few calories yesterday. Uh, so this morning I woke up at 103 kgs. Um, so a little bit lighter, 104 yesterday. So it's alright though, I've tightened up a little bit from yesterday, look a little bit tighter, but uh, we'll start getting this food up again and uh, pushing this weight. So this is an increase from last week, so that's good. We're still getting a little bit bigger, um, even though we had a few days off there. Uh, we're still growing team, so we're we'll back to work now at that little brief hiatus and uh, back to business. So without further ado team, let's get this pulled. Okay, my people, so we are smashing a bit of a high row uh, with a single arm. So with this, making sure that we're not trying to pull with our arm, but really with through your elbow when you're doing this. So we had this for three sets of 16 to 10. So I'll try to get a bit heavier on this, but let's we'll start off light. That's the first exercise. Let's go. Swap over, smash the second side. It's not bad team, so that was 16 there. Um, pretty good weight, so we'll go up from there and smash this next one. Let's go. Number two team, so we're really gonna try to push the weight on these and start, start getting heavy. One more. Smash it up one more. Talk about it, be it back. Let's go. So we're looking for 12 to 14 here. It's that heavy. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs> 
Let's go. Let's go, let go, let go. That's one team. So, uh, smashing this one, looking for 12 to 10. Going up and wait. That's how we done a bitch. Let go. Are you ready? Are you ready for that? Like a whole lot of hoisting. Oof. All right, team. So next up, we got some some rows. Smash these with the dumbbells. We will probably have to head over to the other rack, but smash one here first. So with these, when you're doing your rows, you want to pull it straight up. You actually want to pull it in a bit of a an arc so towards your waist and also at the bottom of the movement you want to let your back dip and stretch out all the way right about parallel squeeze and you can dumbbell up to your waist there good so all that talking i'm gonna do my other arm first as well i'll start with but uh let's go I forgot to the same rough scheme as last time. He said 16. Let's go. Good stuff. Let's go. Smash this next one, team. So, Jack is nice and pumped off of this already. But, uh, still got some more work to do, eh? So, looking for 12 to 14 here.
That's the one. Get out of the rack and move over weight. All right, team, third and final. Let's get it. Over here throwing equipment around. <laughs> All right. So here we're looking for 10 to 12. Let go. And do some jumping weight. Let's go. What's up, team? What's up? <sighs> All right, team, so we are moving on to chest now, so we're going to ban this for, I guess, for three sets. 16 to 10. So we'll try to get a little bit heavier on these. Ooh, no drops, no drops today. Let's go. A little too light, a little too easy, so we'll grab a bigger jump on this. Put these next ones. <sighs> Alright, team. Looking for. So up to 14 if it's in that range, but I feel like we might hit 16 with these. If not, if we do, just hit another two two sets as we increase. Let's go. Pretty easy, so we're starting on the far right to chest now. <laughs> What's that? Come on, team. Moving into the big boy weight.
Ooh, hard turn. We'll take these uh, 60s for a spin here. Parking bitches are heavy. Like this. My team. Last but not least, chest for the one arms is a uh, incline fly, which luckily we got an incline fly machine in here. It's pretty sick. It's a real old school piece of equipment, but gnarly. I feel this throughout my whole chest a lot, a lot more than I do uh, your regular like vertical uh, chest fly machine. So. Same rip skiing, three sets, 16. Let's go. You really get sick squeeze out of this. So move that weight up. Oh, smash the gun. Set number two. Count number two. Set. That's a burn, boy. That's a burn. Oh. Last one, team. Just gonna show. Gnarly, man. All right, team. So we are moving on to arms. Uh, so we got a dex and dex and special. So you see, we do a lot. Um, it's uh, 21s. So we're gonna have our barbell. We have seven reps at the bottom of, of the range, seven reps at the top of the range, and seven full reps. So if you haven't tried these before, pump and a half. So. I get into we got three three sets of this. Start with these here. Let's go. Oh. 
me. Oh, I'm so tired for that, but we'll uh, bang that weight up a little bit, team. So. Numero dos. Good stuff. Match it away up again, let go. Let's go team. Third and five. <laughs> the gas and Last on the agenda uh, for the main workout is some dips. So, smash these three sets to failure, potentially. Go from there. Some biceps, all those tendons right here. Fucking tight, boy. Stop, stop. Team, so it's 20 there, so we look for at least 16 next time. Keep it going. But after this, we'll smash a little bit of calves as well. I was thinking might we do some leg extensions, but we'll see. We'll see the energy that after calves. Calves are the main thing I'm going to hit next. I always like to hit a little bit of calves on arm days. They don't feel like coming out with big arms and go plates down below. Ugh. Get them pumps aligned. Sixteen reps, so next one will probably be like twelve. Then tomorrow will be rest day. So play so down just one one off. See what Dex says for next week. So I had a few days off in a row. I dropped the frequency, but 
I just ended up just chilling for a little bit. Started to get to bed early. Press my body in. See what I've done some things. My weight went up. I was a little bit stagnant for a bit. So, the sleep is a crucial baby. My team. <clears throat> Smash this last one and then hit our calves. Tight, six pain, six pain. Let's go. So I won't bore you with the calf training, but I found out I can do donkey raises on here. Fresh am deep. These are my first favorite for calves, donkeys. Get somebody put a pop on the back. Stand me after that. Whew. Let's go. A little right team, so smack that weight down up, what do you want to call it? Smash it again. Yeah, try to hit a few different foot positions for calves, try to hit them from all angles. <sighs> that was not blessed with big calves, big calf genetics. Uh, my dad had pretty good calves, but play a lot of soccer. Play a lot of soccer. Then inside with the weights and getting kind of solid too, so it probably helped. Oof. Try not bad for the genetics. Hey, that just burn. See you after this commercial break. My team, my team. That is us done and dusted. Let's see what's uh, what we done here. If we can get this off. Your legs too. Let's get some legs out.
Not too shabby team. Chest and back. A little bit of arms to finish up. It's 103 kgs faster. Sam. Not too shabby for off season. So we're putting some weight on. <sighs> Try to keep it around here. Keep it kosher. Gain, gain weight. And that's us team. Easy D. Out. <laughs>